everybody, this is Maria and welcome back to my Christmas Craft Countdown. Today I'm going to show you how to make jewelry from game pieces from your board games. Okay, so let's get started. You can see the first one I'm going to show you right here. I made this necklace out of a Scrabble tile piece and it's super simple. It takes just a couple of minutes. Even the kids can do this or they can help. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is what you're going to need. You're going to need E6000 glue. Okay, you can get this at Joann's or Michael's and it's like $4.99. Be sure to use a coupon, you can get 50% off. Glue is hardly ever, ever on sale. So you can always use your coupons on glue. The other one I'm gonna show you, this is the one I originally used and I love this applicator. It's got the little pointy top and it made it really easy. For some reason, it's not flowing real well. So I opened up this other one I just bought at Michael's and I didn't realize that it didn't have the pointy applicator, but it still, it'll still work, you know? So, but that's where I'll use this little plastic knife. So you might wanna keep one of these little plastic knives around or a popsicle stick to help apply some of the glue. This glue is really thick and I thought it, it dried pretty fast, although it says to let set for like 48 hours, something like that. So it's up to you. And so anyways, let's see, you're going to obviously need some game pieces. I collect board games, as you can see from right behind me, I have a stack of board games and I always get them at the thrift store, yard sale, swap me, like for a dollar, two dollars. Um, I never pay over three dollars, very rare. It has to be a very special game if I'm gonna pay uh, more than three dollars. And even if a game isn't complete, you can always use the game pieces you can use the, the boards themselves to make uh, art journals, which is in another tutorial that I have. And so there's all kinds of things you can make. You can even make um, purses, which I have another tutorial that I'll be doing on the game ones. So anyway, so see all the game pieces I've collected and you can see all of my Scrabble pieces that I've collected. And I'm gonna show you something in another tutorial, what to do with these Scrabble pieces. So, okay, so let's get started. Um, oh, before we get started, one more thing. You're gonna need to pick up some of these at Joann's or Michael's. They're the little chains, the little um, the little silver ball chains. They're really, really inexpensive. For $2.99, I think it's $2.99 or $3.99, you can get two of these. And they come with extenders, so you can see the extenders. So if you wanna make the chain longer, but actually this is one of them right here, and you can see it's pretty long. You know, so you get two in there. Make sure you use your coupon. If it's already on sale, 30 or 40% off, just think of that as a coupon. You know, some, I worked at Joann's last year and some ladies would get upset if their coupons didn't work, but I look at it as I'm getting a discount. Uh, the other thing is, here's another one. I think these were like $1.99. There's only one in here, um, but with a coupon, you can get it for half price, even 40%, something like that. And every now and then, Joann's has a 60%, which they will have on Sunday, this Sunday after Thanksgiving. So anyways, uh, let's see, what else are you gonna need? You're gonna need some blanks uh, for ring, ring blanks, I guess you would call them. Not sure the exact name, but I think they're like ring blanks. And you get several in a package. They're very inexpensive. They're adjustable in the back. And you can see they're flat, so it makes it easy to put things on there. And one more thing you're going to need for to make like a necklace is bales. And I'll show you what a bale looks like, just in case you don't know, because I didn't. <laughs> um, here you go. They look just like this. Um, I found these at Michael's. Uh, Joann's, I think I saw them at Joann's one time, um, but they were so much easier to find at Michael's. Again, you can use your coupons. You can, Michael's also takes competitor coupons and vice versa at Joann's. So anyways, there's four in there. And this is what they look like up close. There you go. You can see the little loop where the chain is gonna go through. And you can see where it's flat in the back. And that's gonna go against the item that you're going to apply the glue to and to the item. So anyway, so let's get started, okay? Um, let's see. Let me show you this one. I really love this one. These are the game pieces from Candyland. You may recognize them. You can put one on a chain or all three. Um, just depends on what you wanna do. I just think they're really, really cute. And so here I have some extra ones and I'm gonna show you how to apply it. And so let's see. I'm gonna take the bale, okay? And you're going to put it on the glue on the flat side. So I'm going to 
use this glue here. It's the first time I'm using it without the pointy things, so let's see how messy it is. Actually, it's coming out really easy, and it's really thick, so I think I might just spread that just a little bit because I don't want it too thick because I don't want it to um, squeeze out from the other side. This is a really easy piece to apply it to. Also, you might just want to hold it for a couple of seconds to let the glue thicken up even a little bit more. And there you go. And so I'm just going to put it on the back side. That simple. Okay. And then just sort of pat it down. See the glue is kind of showing. See where it's kind of dripping on the bottom. So that's why I didn't want to put too much. I just sort of took that off with my fingernail. And it's moving around easily if you want to adjust it. It's a little crooked. So there you go. What do you think? It's kind of cute, isn't it? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down flat this way. So let it dry. And then let's see. Um, how about what else can we do here? How about let's do a ring, okay? Let me show you what I did with this. I had a pair of ruby slippers from a Monopoly game that was of the Wizard of Oz. And look how cute, how cute is that? And so the shoes were flat on the back. And so I just put that on there. And there you go. I thought it was really, really cute. And I love Wizard of Oz, so I was happy with that. And so not all the game pieces will fit on easily. Um, you might put on a, a dice. I had one on and I took it off. It's in the kitchen on the kitchen counter. And so, but, so let me make another one. Um, there's a die. I guess you would call it a die if it's singular, dice if it's plural. And so you can just glue that on like that. There's a blue one also. So depending on what color you want. So let's do, oh, and I have a red one too. So it's kind of fun. So you can actually make them as gifts and why not make different colors, you know? See, I don't really care for this big um, opening here because look at that big glob of glue. So, but I'm not going to let it go to waste. I already opened it. And so I'm just going to take scrape some of that off and I feel like I'm wasting it but anyway so let's go ahead and do the green one I want let's see what number what's a lucky number um should we put six or five how about five five is a nice odd number and so then you're just going to put it on like that now with the ring to get it to dry isn't that cute take a look at this now look at the size of that rock Maybe you'd want to wear this to Vegas, huh? Or to Laughlin, or if you go to the Indian casinos for good luck, right? And so anyways, you want to watch out with that glue. That's why I try not to put too much on there. It really sticks really well. So, but this is what I discovered, my little trick. I know you probably have one of these in your house, right? To get it to dry and to not, whoops, have it fall off, I went ahead and just put it on here and let's see it's not staying today the other day it did so maybe if you have another soap thing with a little bit wider um, nozzle pump you can just sort of put that on there and let it sit and it's sort of hung on there let me go I'll be right back I'm gonna go get the other one and see if that will work just a second Those are my dogs barking, Jack and Sally. And so let's try this little guy. Okay, so see how this one's a little bit wider? Let's see if that works. Worked the other day. Of course, it's not going to work now. But, well, you get the gist, and you can just sort of play around with it and see if that works, okay? Otherwise, um, maybe just set it down very carefully. Let's see how that works. Seems to be all right. Maybe just let it sit on your finger for a little bit while the glue starts to dry. And it's already hardening. So, okay. So I guess you would call that almost like a soap dispenser malfunction. Okay. So, but I'm not going to redo this video because I need to get these videos done so I can get back to my writing. Okay. Here's another thing that you can do. 
I have these buttons that I bought when I was working at Joann's last year. Because since I was working there, I 